Hello, Booktube, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm going to try to keep this one short and sweet. I don't really have that much to report. If you've been watching this channel the past couple months, uh, you know that I've been really busy, and these weekly reading vlogs have mostly been just apologies for not uh, doing anything. Um, but uh, I've gotten a little bit less busy and was able to knock out a few videos this week. Uh, I'll link to them all in the description down below, but this past week I uh, did, after um, a month late, I, I did the fictional universes tag, uh, which was I, I was tagged by Williams Library in it. Uh, tagged a number of people in that video. Check it out. You, you might have gotten tagged. Um, but I, I actually, I should, um, I, I, I should say that William in his original video uh, made that an, an open tag to anyone who wants to do it. Uh, he's uh, recently started Booktuber. Uh, well, he's on his second YouTube channel, but um, not counting his first channel, uh, recently started and, and is looking to get this thing off the ground. So. Go ahead, check out his original tag, and uh, just tag yourself uh, if, if you want to give it a go. Uh, also, I finally got along to reviewing a narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. Um, a short little book, but it took me forever to get along, around to reviewing it. I'll link to that in the description down below. And then uh, Bone, the complete collection. Uh, which I would be showing up to the camera right now, except after I reviewed it, I returned it to the library. So it is now back on the library shelves. I don't have any physical object to show you. But uh, yeah, I'll, I will link to that review in the description down below. Uh, I think the baby is crying. Okay. Uh, I, I may have to come back to this video later. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, th that, that's one of the reasons why it's been so hard to get reading done and, uh, get videos done around here is the, uh, the new baby. Um, but yeah, uh, stuff I did not get around to doing this week. There were a couple poems, actually, in this book, uh, not by Frederick Douglass, but poems he quotes. Uh, and I was going to film those. I had been doing, it, it's, I've left it alone for a couple years now, but I had been doing on this channel a uh, poetry project. Um, yeah, here's the other one in the text. Um, Sort of uh, combined with my role as an English teacher, just making uh, videos of poetry that perhaps would be useful to people studying English. Uh, and even though I've largely let that project uh, lay, lay fallow the past couple of years, I was thinking if I come across poems in a book I was reading, I should just do them because if I wait, I'll, I'll forget about it. So uh, I was hoping actually to do that this past week, but uh, after initially getting those first three videos done, I just did not have any time. Well, actually, I, I had some time, but it was not good conditions for filming. Either the baby was crying or they're doing construction in the apartment above us, so there was the drilling sound. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a couple of those done this week. Uh, you can watch out for that. Uh, another video I did not get around to filming is I still am, have to do my Magic of Oz video. The, the, the Magic of Oz, book number 13 in the Oz series. Um, I'm actually, you know, I finished this book. When did I finish it? Over a month ago, I think. And because I've been so busy, I just haven't gotten around to the review. And now I'm at the stage where it's not so fresh in my mind anymore. Um, so I should probably reread some of it. The problem is this book is really big. I mean, c compare, compare the sizes of these books. Uh, 
So it's it's a bit hefty. It's a little bit inconvenient to carry around with me. Um, uh, I I was reflecting earlier this week, and I I realized I was making really good pro project no, no project progress on this book uh, this past year, but that's because of the COVID lockdown. Uh, I've been at home for most of the past year, uh, which is why I was able to, to read some of these heftier books. Now that I'm back going to work every day, uh, I'm bringing in the lightweight books. So uh, I've been listening to the audiobook version of this, which is available on YouTube. I'll try and remember to link it down below, the LibriVox recording version. Um, but the audio is not quite the same because my attention does tend to drift in and out with the audiobook. But I want to definitely try and get this done this week because we're going to be traveling from next week. Um, so then it'll be... Who knows when I'll get around to it if I don't get around to it this week. So th this coming week, definitely going to try and review The Magic of Oz, uh, possibly the two poems from this book. Uh, in terms of my reading for this week, uh, now that I'm done with uh, the Bone graphic novel, I'm looking at the Discworld graphic novels again. Uh, I had gotten a little bit into this before Bone arrived at the library. Um, I just decided to restart this because I had only just barely started it. Uh, I don't count graphic novels towards my weekly page count, um, but I have been reading this and uh, will hope to finish this off early this coming week and film a video, fingers crossed. Uh, and then uh, this is the book I've been carrying around with me. I had started it and then stopped it where I was uh, rereading The Life of Frederick Douglass. But now picking this up again, uh, I had l been on page 44 at the beginning of the week. That was from the last time I left off. Uh, and I'm up to page 78 now. So that's, what is that, 34 pages this week? It's all right. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a fantasy book with a lot of world building and names and stuff like that. I had been on the verge of leaving it for just too long to start forgetting who all these people were. But fortunately, I hadn't quite gotten to that point yet. I still, I, I picked it up again. I could still connect, uh, the characters to the names and, and remember who people were and what their backstory was. Uh, and as I started reading it again, it came back to me quickly. Um, so, you know, if, if I left this for a couple more weeks, maybe it would have been more difficult to get back into. But I, I think I'm still all right at the moment. Uh, and um, yeah, th this will be the, the book I carry around with me. Um, yeah, and that that's been it for this past week. Uh, I, I am, I've got a whole bunch of half-read books sitting around my apartment from the days before I was super busy. I'm hoping to start picking them up again. Herodotus, the Bible, the grammar book. Uh, what else do I have half-finished around here? Um, the, the Oz books. Um, but uh, finishing up the term this week and then we're going to be traveling next week. So I don't know if this is the week I'm going to do it. But anyways, uh, that's all for this week.